My name is Chris Curry. I am primary head teacher at Dixon's Ollerton Academy. I've always worked with early excellence since I've been a qualified teacher. I started uh, teaching uh, in Bradford as an NQT and in reception class. My first year in reception class, I accessed training at the centre in Huddersfield. It was inspirational. It changed my view of what good, high quality, early years practice looks and feels like. And also made me realise that although an outstanding, high quality early years environment should include time and areas for children to access things independently, it should also be about high quality teaching. First step in developing the, the school here was to make sure that our core principles of practice were based on the needs of the children and the families in this part of Bradford. Once that had been done and we had a really clear idea of what we wanted to develop in terms of our provision and why we wanted to develop it, the next step was to visit Early Excellence, met with the centre manager who sat down with myself and our first two qualified teachers who we appointed and we planned both the reception space and the nursery space. That also included thinking about what furniture we needed and also thought about how we might resource the outdoors. At this point we realise actually we've got very young, inexperienced uh, staff. With the, you can have the best resources, you can have the most intricately, thoughtfully designed provision. Neither of those two are going to make any impact or any real sustainable impact on children's learning and development without having high quality CPD of teachers to make sure that they have the skills to interact effectively in high quality ways with children in, the, in that provision. In order to deepen our staff's understanding of high effective early years practice, we had to make sure that Early Excellence continued to support us on that journey. So ongoing CPD, ongoing refreshment of what we'd already learned previously, as well as ongoing reflection of what we'd done and auditing of what we'd done, looking at assessment data, looking at well-being scales of children, looking at quality of teaching and having early excellence help us to evaluate all of that. This was not a one-off. This wasn't a deliver a course, take it back to school, implement it. This is a process. And in order to develop high quality, child-centered, early years setting that is based on principles of child development practice, that's a process, it takes time, it takes reflection and having a company like Early Excellence to support you in that process was absolutely invaluable. Ofsted talked about our dynamic and innovative curriculum, that's the phrase that they use to talk about our early years. They also used a similar phrase to talk about our Key Stage 1. Ofsted commented on how our children come into our nursery and into our reception with uh, areas of development and learning that are significantly below typical for children of their age. So they recognise that. They also recognise in the body of the report how key and significant it was that our practitioners and that env our environments focused on developing language. And they recognised that without that, the progress of our children would not have been as accelerated, that's the term they used, accelerated as it was and also that that progress wouldn't have continued to have been accelerated as that cohort of children travelled through school and as we greeted more cohorts of children into our school. Ofsted in the two reports that we've had in the past five years are utterly convinced that this is the right approach for children like this in areas like this. I know what we do here makes a huge difference to our children because I've taught with worksheets and I've taught with bums on seats and I've taught um, as a play-based provision and a skills-based provision as well and I know which one the children enjoy and I know which one the children make the most progress with. If a child um, is learning through something they're interested in and something that excites them and something that is an, a wow amazing experience for them, they're going to learn at such a deeper level than if we just give them a piece of paper with addition on. When I came round to look around the school um, I could clearly see the links that had been made between Early Excellence and here and I could see that those principles were lived out in a real school every day and um, that Chris had pulled the principles from Early Excellence and that they were living and breathing those principles here at Dixon's. 
not just with, with the resources that the shelves are the same, you can feel the, you can feel the inspiration here.